Mr. Speaker, say, I want to thank the Honourable Member for asking the question. Mr. Speaker, say, climate change has and will continue to affect the intensity and frequency of precipitation. Mr. Speaker, say, our oceans are getting warmer. A recent study by the um, uh, World Meteorological Organization uh, showed that last seven years has been the warmest. Uh, 2021 is the seventh consecutive year, 2015 to 2021, where global temperatures has been above one degree Celsius, above the pre-industrial levels. So Mr. Speaker said, with warmer atmosphere, it increases the amount of water that evaporates into the air, converging and resulting in strong storm systems and further in intensifying the events and, 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 and rainfall. So Mr. Speaker said, heavier rain means that washing away of the sediments and cells, heavier rainfall. So Mr. Speaker said, if you look at the data in Fiji, the average rainfall in 2013, annual average rainfall in 2013 was 1,306 millimeters. Now in 2020, the last data that we have, from 1,306 average annual rainfall in 2013 now to 2020 is 2,612, nearly double, nearly double. You look at monthly average rainfall data, in 2013 it was 108 millimeters, now it's 217. Now let's look at the Cody data, TC Cody, three days, Bar had the highest, 566 millimeters, as the speaker said. When the monthly average now is 217, and the monthly average in 2013 was 108, the three days only TC, TC Cody was 566 in Bar, 453 in Tavua, 459 in Nendi. Now, Mr. Speaker said, with this massive amount of rainfall in a very short period, and when you have this lot of developments, it causes a lot of runoff water, Mr. Speaker said. Now, no amount of drainage, no amount of desilting will assist because these are mitigating factors. These are not preventive measures, Mr. Speaker said. We have gone beyond prevention. It, we now have to mitigate. These are mitigating measures. Having said, Mr. Speaker said, at the moment, at the moment, we are undertaking desilting and dredging on about 29 creeks and rivers uh, throughout Fiji at the moment. Two creeks in the central division, 11 in the western division, 16 in the northern division. As we speak, as I say, most of these are undertaken in partnership with private sector uh, companies in a, uh, a PPP model, as the speaker said. So, Mr. Speaker said, the larger ones, uh, so in the northern division, we have got Numbu, Nonguru, Nasealevu, Wabuabu, Nangingi, Navindamu, Nakama, Wailevu, Watundova, Waitakala, Budisau, Unialayala, Unibutu, Tambia, Nekilikiso, Kurakari. In the Raha district, we have got Nakorotumbu, Apawanimbuka, Donivi, about to start, Narewa. In the Ba uh, district, Saru, uh, in Lutoka, Solovi in Nendi, Malakua in Nendi, Nandele, Bariva just started, Namasau, Vitongo just started, Nawaka retention dam. We constructed five retention dams, Mr. Speaker, say, uh, to deal with flooding in Nendi. Apart from the dredging that is happening in Nendi and in Malakua River, we got five retention dams. Primary purpose of this retention dam is to collect the water that comes down, store it, and then gradually release it. So, four, three of them was constructed much earlier, about three years ago, these are filled with silt. So last year, before this rainy season, we desilted uh, retention dam one and two, completely desilted it so that it regains its retention capacity. So in the central division, we've got in Namosi, one in Buambua, and one in Doi being uh, undertaking desilting works as we, as we speak. So Mr. Speaker said, this weekend we are targeting to advertise the other 120 rivers and creeks that we have on our list for, uh, uh, to seek expression of interest from uh, potential uh, companies who would want to partner with us and clear this material so that you know, we can, uh, uh, we can uh, get back to their original discharge capacity. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Thank you.